So this is Greg Allison from Green Greggs coming to you on late night, the 28th of 2020, to tell you that China, the PRC, launched two missiles into the South China Sea. One they call an aircraft killer, the other they call a Guam killer. Now, for those of you that don't know, Guam is a U.S. territory, and the United States exerts its power chiefly through, uh, at least overseas, aircraft carriers you know, from the sea. So these are very uh, interesting events. Uh, they fired these missiles on Wednesday, and the firing of these missiles, which are known as the uh, DF or Dongfeng 21D, which is the one they call the aircraft carrier, and the Dongfeng or DF 26B, which must be the one they call the Guam killer. So I want to show you some pictures of where these launch from and what these missiles look like in a little bit. But uh, they launched these on Wednesday following uh, China's complaint about the U.S. flying a YouTube, a, <coughs> excuse me, not a YouTube, <laughs> a U-2 aircraft over what they determined to be a no-fly zone. Of course, you got to realize that China is claiming the entire South China Sea and the territory far, far removed from their coastline, far outside of anything recognized by the UN Law of the Sea Treaty and other nations in the area. So there's a lot at stake here. Uh, a third of the world's trade goes through that region. So it's uh, a lot of tension here. Uh, so, but this also follows three weeks in which China had four military exercises in that area uh, along the coast and down into the South China Sea. And other exercises, which, is, which China said were aimed at the current security situation across the Strait of Taiwan. Now, this is the first time that China has had uh, four separate military drills in that region at the same time. And Vietnam has claimed that these violated its territorial integrity, i.e., meaning that China is drilling inside the sovereign territory of Vietnam. China doesn't recognize any of that of, of several nations in the area and is claiming everything. So <clears throat> there's a lot at stake here. Uh, <clears throat> now, I should maybe go ahead and show you some uh, pictures here. Hang on, I'm going to do a share screen. Ah, are we getting into this? You know what, guys? We know the tensions are high in the world. We know it's off the charts. So do consider right now uh, prepping. If you're not prepping, you're not thinking because it may hit the fan really soon of what's going on with the United States and China. And I got some more videos doing this. Uh, also, what's going on inside the United States and weather, uh, just the cost and the availability of food for expected to skyrocket. This is a great time to go to prepwithgreg.com. Prepwithgreg.com. And there you'll find this uh, link to this also below my uh, website uh, under the video here. And you can save to, right now today $100 off a four week, four week food supply. And you see, you can carry two weeks in each of these buckets. And this is 2,000 calories per day. Good, yummy food, wide selection, variety, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's easy to carry in these uh, buckets. These are nice handy buckets with a handle on top and uh, you, know, you get the handles, you got stuff like okay, these got the handles here. Uh, they are very easy to carry around uh, because the food has been uh, processed, freeze-dried, uh, it is uh, dehydrated, it is easy to carry. And look here, uh, you're paying only $197, so you're really saving a third. That's a huge discount. Buy as many as you can while you can, and if you go up here and clink Right here, my patient supply, you get in here, we find all of the uh, kinds of uh, water filters and uh, things that you need when it gets bad. I mean, this is showing you what you get. $100 off. And it's noted as delicious food. And you can see lots of other stuff here. This supports my channel. doesn't cost you a penny more. And you need this stuff. I just did a video showing you stuff to get in the stores. But here's other things that you will get too. All right, and this lasts 25 years. It's good stuff. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll talk about the rescues later. Mm. So, here, my friends, are the missiles. These are the DF-26s right here. 
and let me show you some of the areas we're setting up to launch from. Let me show you what's really interesting about this DF-26. Here's the range. Uh, see, they launch, they, the launch site for these is the 666, no, I don't give you there it is, the 666 Brigade Base. Are you kidding me, right? <laughs> no, that's the name. And from this devil of a base, they can launch 4,000 kilometers or 2,485 miles. You can see here, you can read for yourself, right? So this is a circle of everything they can reach, which includes all of Japan, includes all of South Korea, and includes Guam, which again is U.S. territory. If you're born in Guam, you are a U.S. citizen. Point blank. It's been U.S. territory since 1898, by the way. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, Manila, the Philippines, all kind of you know, Southeast China nations are at risk here. So this is where the, D, the, the DF-26 can be launched from. There's the missile, DF-26. This is not a small missile. This and the 21, uh, DF-21, uh, D are both inter intermediate range ballistic missiles, IRBMs. These are the kind of missiles that the United States and the Soviet Union negotiated away and said they wouldn't have them. They thought they were too disabling, too destabling, or destabilizing in a military theater because there was very little warning being carried, ginormous payloads on conventional or nuclear. So, if I may, uh, screen will allow me, I will show you here. Let's see. So you see, uh, this is the range of the DF-21, the aircraft carrier killer. And it's, uh, of course, this looks like it's launching maybe from different sites to have these bubbles in the range. But as you can see, it includes all this area. You know, this this is what China's claiming right here. China's claiming this, but China's up here. The best China could claim this, right? But no, they're claiming way down in here. So which, which makes a lot of nations right here very unhappy. And of course, here's the contested Strait of Taiwan. And again, Guam is inside of this circle, my friends. Guam is inside of this circle. Here's your, 20, about, here's your data on the 21, there it is. The 21, the DF 21D. It's a big missile. There it is on its missile launcher. And it carries 600 pounds, excuse me, 600 kg of explosives. Now 600 kg of explosives is over 1,300 pounds. You know, that's well over a ton, what the V-2 rocket used to carry. That's an enormous payload of explosives. That's why they're calling an aircraft uh, carrier killer carrier killer and it uh, was made as an anti-ship missile. That was its role. They claim it's the first ever anti-ship missile. There it is being launched, I guess. So this is, uh, oh yeah, this is a cyber missile. Missile Defense uh, Advocacy Alliance. <laughs> so this is a very uh, threatening missile. Make no doubt about it. And these, uh, you know, you don't have 90 minutes of warning like you would for something coming over the poles from uh, you know, Russia. And that's why you know, these inter intermediate range ballistic missiles are considered destabilizing. Now, just in case you really wanted to know, here you are again, this is Guam, from Wikipedia. Guam is way over here, but still within the range of these missiles. And uh, you got a Wikipedia, and somebody disputed me about this. So that's why I'm bringing this up when I mentioned the previous video. And if you're born in Guam, you are a U.S. citizen. You can come in here and find it. It's a westernmost point on territory of the United States. You see here? It's, it's an unorganized territory of the United States. But it's definitely United States. And if you're born there, you are a U.S. citizen. And if you've got any doubt about that, you know, come here and look it up and read it for yourself. I'm not going to go through it all in great detail. Stop share for a second. <laughs> Hello. So, and again, what you need to know is that these missiles uh, have caused much consternation. The U.S. Uh, Defense Department 
actually said Thursday, uh, that these missiles threatened the peace and security of the region. They claim, the U.S. Defense Department, that there was many, as many as four of these that were fired. And the U.S. Defense Department said the following. They said that such exercises violate the PRC, that's the People's Republic of China, uh, commitments under the 2002 Declaration of Conduct of Parties in the South China Sea to avoid activities that would complicate or escalate disputes in the effect that affect peace and stability. Person, one might argue there's a whole lot going on in that area that might affect peace and stability, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, so now here's what's really odd. On the 27th, China claimed that they actually forced U.S. warships away from the Parcel Islands in the disputed South China Sea. And the U.S. Uh, Department of Defense, again, disputed that, denied it. And the next day, they sent a warship back in that area. <laughs> uh, uh, you see the tensions are just that they're getting off the they're getting off the roof here. It's getting really concerning. Um, so what I want to tell you is that let's see here. Uh, the DF uh, twenty one is uh, unusually accurate, and it's dubbed the carrier killer because of its accuracy. Um, I'm going to show you something else, and but that's not all that's going on. Not at all. Let's go back into the share mode here in just a second. Just a second here. Yeah, I'm going to show you this a minute ago. Guess what? This is a Russian flag. That's an American flag. This is Russian vehicle. That's an American vehicle. So in Syria, what happened last week was a Russian vehicle, uh, military vehicle, rammed a U.S. vehicle and injured the soldiers therein. So, so as would just suffice it to say, um, we're still having tensions with Russia and Syria. Now we defeated ISIS. Why are we still there? It's a really a good question. Why are we still in Syria? Um, we need to get out of there. Russia really takes seriously their uh, role in Syria in defense of Assad, mainly because uh, you got to remember Russia has a their only Mediterranean uh, base is there in Syria. They're going to defend that. That is one of their best warm water bases, and it gives them access, of course, to everything in the Mediterranean Sea, and maybe occasionally, you know, if they can get out of the Straits of Gibraltar. So. Uh, you know, Russia is kind of landlocked. I mean, I mean the, the, their main ocean access, uh, especially on the eastern side, is you know Barrett Sea and so forth. You got you know ginormous ice packs up there, so it's hard to navigate that. You know, they do have their eastern uh, naval base and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, should say it right now, a lot of the Vladivostok, Vladivostok, <laughs> Vladivostok is also the city that China's flying the train from Russia. So uh, I still think we could make peace with Russia and use that to calm China down. Russia ultimately has more to be concerned with from China than they do from us. And we need all the allies we can to keep China from getting really aggressive. Um, I'm gonna talk more about that in another video, but then again, you know, Hopefully, you know, we're not overtly aggressive. The problem is there's a lot of room for miscalculation. We have our military forces, and China has their military forces, both very active in the South China Sea right now. Uh, we're in and out. We just put an aircraft carrier group through there. So there's a lot of room for error. There's a lot of room for mistake. There's a lot of things that could go bad in a hurry. And that's when I tell, that's why I do these videos, just so you keep your eyes wide open and head on the swivel. That's the proposition of this channel again, is if you survive, thrive, and stay out of the high. And the reason for that is, uh, look guys, if, if we don't make it through this, we're, we, we've got a different thing. Uh, that goes without explaining, right? <laughs> so, Experience. pardon me, I'm just starting something else up. So, you've really got to prep. 
if you're not prepping now, as I mentioned earlier, then wow, you need to run because it's going to be hard to get ready at this point. If you're not already prepped, what you should be doing at this point is shoring up your preps because we've had a lot of stuff hit us this year. And I'm expecting it's about to get turned back on real fast. I'm hearing rumors of things that's going to really pick up around the 5th of September. And I hope to do a video on that real soon. I'm talking right here in the United States domestically. Plans for activity in that time frame. And I'm looking, waiting for an article on that. I've got an individual that's with a security organization that's supposed to be sending me an article. And I hope to see that soon. And hopefully I can give you all more info about that at that point in time. So, let's bring up something else in a moment. Uh, that is why you need really, really, really be paying attention right now more than ever. So, uh, I want to sell some more stuff for the survival tribes. Where we've got uh, uh, my uh, helper, uh, Jennifer, is really doing a lot to now. She's really active in getting uh, the contacts made and sending emails out. So, we're catching up now, finally. So, in case you don't know, you can email me at hal5space at aol.com. That's Hotel Alpha Lima 5, Sierra Papa Alpha Charlie Echo at uh, Alpha October Lima dot Charlie October Mike. And if you want to be in our survival tribes, put the word tribes in the subject line. If you're interested in joining our Freedom Restoration Foundation, which we're aiming at, preserving what should be ours and restoring back what we ought to have. And is what they're trying to take from us, or do you think they're taking from us? That's what we're about. Now, our motto, don't tread on freedom. Do not tread on freedom. <laughs> so, that said, you also need to grow a garden. You seriously need to grow your own food. I do videos on growing your own food, quite a few. I do videos about foraging wild food. But you need both. Bear in mind that seeds are also very portable because seeds are small. From a little seed, you can grow big plants. This is the link that's below most of my videos for Truly Market. You go here and buy heirloom seeds. Most of the seeds here are heirloom seeds. And you can buy all kinds of vegetable seeds. And you can buy seeds like this all your gardening, garden seeds, herb seeds, flower seeds, cover crops. All those are important. And you can do microgreens. If you live in a city and don't have a garden, you can grow inside your home. I've done videos and they're below in the playlist on my channel showing you how I grow things in my living room. And sprouts and microgreens are two different things, by the way. <laughs> but you can also get all kinds of supplies for gardening and growing microgreens, including the 10 by 20 trays and such, right? So there's a lot here with that between trays other things so you can go in here and find uh everything you need to grow practically except unless you want big hose and things like that and i've already done videos to show you about getting your garden tools so go check those out and, and you, know, you need to go to your local uh, uh provider for those kind of things but always remember let me stop this share i always tell you on this channel support your local business person support your local tradesman Support your local stores as much as you can. Spend your dollar locally because I think our biggest enemy in this world is globalism. I'll go more than that in the future. So, anyway, I'm going to end this video. All I'm going to say now is if you've watched this far, say, Wow, Greg, where did you get that? <laughs> I had a friend send me this. I'm going to cover that in my Wednesday night live session, uh, all about that. Many other gifts uh, uh, that were sent to me by uh, Cordis Awesome. <laughs> so we'll talk about that Wednesday. Anyway, everyone, thank you very much for watching.